Now in this video we're going to take a quick look at uh, my Maxitronics 501 electronics lab and I bought this like two years ago I did an unboxing video of it and uh, unfortunately I never got around to using it in any videos which is kind of sad because it has 500 projects and uh, a lot of stuff as you can see and uh, I would start doing a lot of videos now except for I don't think these are being sold anywhere anymore and uh, so I'll probably still do some videos show some interesting things on this but uh, I'm not gonna do near as many as I planned because as I said you can't buy it and uh, so I don't want to show you stuff that you can't uh, replicate on your own but in any case we're gonna focus on the batteries that didn't come with the batteries I had to buy batteries one reason why I never got around to using this every time I went to the store I forgot to buy batteries and uh, but in any case Let's look at the uh, top half. As you can see, there's a keyboard there. And up here, on the top there, it flips open. There's little rods to hold it up. Uh, we got a CPU, central processing unit. So there's a computer in here that you can program. Of course, I have not done that, and uh, but uh, it is there. That's part of the 500 projects. They got LEDs up here and stuff. The eight, uh, uh, I forget what you call that, uh, LED the number display for that they show you here you can see the resistors and stuff the wire so it is a pretty cool kit and uh, I wish it was still available everywhere maybe it's available on uh, on uh, eBay I don't know I didn't look on eBay but everywhere else I looked it's not available anymore so now let's look at the batteries so it's got slots for six batteries which is not exciting at all and uh, at first it felt like the batteries would not fit and I'm like what the you do put some pressure like that finally it does uh, fit in and so that was one thing that kind of threw me off I had a I had a struggle with that one I didn't I didn't think it would fit I was just pushing back and trying to push down and uh, same with this one it's not really doing it but uh, you put a lot of force it snaps so there's these little things holding there and uh, I pulled one of those out, it came out easy, this one comes out easy. So, fortunately it comes out really easy, but not always goes in easy. Sometimes it does go in easy. And it has this plastic cover, it snaps right in there, really nice. So now we come to the breadboard. This is the interesting part of the power supply. And this is what motivated me to do this video tonight. I didn't really prepare any more than that though. But uh, you can see here we got V1, V2, V3, V4, V5, and V6 up there. Down here on the other end, there's also the red dashes. All you see is a blue line. You can see the plus symbol up there. You can see the negative symbol down there. And so I'm going to use these jumpers. These jumpers didn't come with this kit. This kit does have wires, but uh, I just grabbed these. They're convenient, and uh, so I can stick the blue one right there. But now I'm going to get out the multimeter. So now we got the multimeter and I'll set this to voltage. That's what we're going to measure, voltage. And first I'm going to put this where there's a five slots for V1. And it feels like a tighter fit sliding these in to these, but a, a nicer fit too than the cheap breadboards I've been using. So I think that's maybe a sign of a higher quality board. All I really use are cheap breadboards and uh, so I don't know but I have read a lot that it's better to buy a high quality board. But in any case, here you can see right now we got slightly more than or about what a brand new battery, a AA battery, 1.5 volt battery will have. Usually with batteries when they're brand new they have a slightly higher voltage than their rating and so V1 you can see we got the voltage of one of these AA batteries there now when I go to V2 and uh, also notice I got the uh, black probe there just alligator clipped to that jumper so now V2 you'll notice we have twice the voltage so we tapped into two series batteries. All six of these batteries are in series. And again, 
voltage 3. I think I made my point though. You know, voltage 3, we got the voltage of 3 batteries. So 1.6 times 3. Pretty close to that. And then, you know, we'll just for the hell of it, go to V6. And now you can see we got over 9 volts. And uh, so that's one cool thing about this board. You can tap into the voltage based on the multiples of the 1.5 batteries just uh, by tapping into one of these uh, different areas with uh, five slots for a particular voltage. And now for a warning. I don't think I did, but I came really close to short circuiting those six batteries. And so be very careful with the wires and you don't want to stick them into uh, this wire that's into V6. You don't want to stick it into one of those either. I did not do this measurement yet, but I'm pretty sure we'll get a voltage difference between those two points. And you can see we do get a voltage between those two points because we went from the negative side of one of the batteries and then we got three batteries in series between those two points. Or uh, looks like two batteries in series. And of course, if uh, you're not already aware, the danger of touching those two wires, don't actually do it, I had space between them, is that you'll have what's called a short circuit. So the power, the batteries, will be powering through themselves with practically no resistance to slow down the current and they do have a tiny bit of current the lower the resistance of a battery the more current that will flow through it that's why lithium ion batteries are more dangerous than alkalines when it comes to short circuits they have less resistance they force through more current for the same voltage and uh, so be very careful of short circuits watch what you're doing I mostly made this mistake because I'm focusing more on making the video than uh, wiring and I've made some short circuits before luckily I avoided it this time I would hate to have ruined any part of this board 